This demonstration is going to look at the new solid splitting functionality available inside PowerShape. The first thing we're going to do is generate a solid core in this region of the model. So we can select the solid faces that we want to use and then use the solid core functionality to generate a bounding box around those surfaces. If we look from above we can generate or drag the bounding box to the size that we want. So we can drag both sides at the same time or we can move each side of the bounding box individually. When we're happy with the size of the bounding box we can click OK and that will create a solid core for that region of the model. Now you can see we have lots of areas that we don't actually need in that core to make an electrode so we're going to look at some of the solid split options and before I do that I'm just going to add a work plane into the model as this is one of the splitting options we're going to look at. If we open up the solid split form first it asks whether we want to use the active or the selective so selected solid. So I'm going to select the solid and then I have various ways that I can split this model. So I could use an input point and then I can pick a point on the model and choose whether to split along the X, Y or Z plane. I could use a work plane, so there I can select my work plane and again pick whether to use the X, Y or Z axis of that work plane. You'll also notice we can split using another solid, we could split using a surface, split using components, or we could split using solid faces. So for example, I could select that face, apply that, and it would split the solid along that face into two solids. Now if I just undo that change for a moment and go back to the world work plane, what we can do is if we select two solid faces or more, we could then hit the split button and PowerShape will automatically work out which parts of the solid we want to remove. So we've just removed all of that poor quality area of the solid that we don't need. We could then use the direct modeling tools to just go in and tidy up the other areas of the solid. So I could just move this face and then we could lower these two faces in Z to give some clearance on the model. 